Well, I guess you noticed from the set, we are back home in Indiana. Unfortunately. So here's a snippet of what happened in case uh, you don't bother with the midweek updates. We, like February the 22nd, 23rd, I started getting hives again. Uh, by the time we got to Fort Pickens uh, State National Park in um, Pensacola, Florida, I was full blown. I had spots like this big. They were everywhere except for on my legs. So anyway, we decided that we would just take the sock off and encapsulate the mattress in a big Which proved bag. to be a bad decision. But you know, hindsight's twenty twenty, mm -hmm. right? So anyway, so we started. Oh, for those that don't know, we're talking about the sock on the mattress. Yes. And the camper. Yes, with the fiberglass. Mm -hmm. Um. So we, I had no relief. So we started for home. We got to Southern Alabama. The van lost an engine. So we got every everybody's home. Uh, Jack and little dude are both home. We are obviously home. So we totally gutted the trailer took everything out because of the fact that we had fiberglass shards everywhere everywhere in the trailer in in the driveway when ed had it out in the driveway i didn't get near it when ed had it out in the driveway and both doors open it glistened you mm -hmm. could just see it everywhere so anyway totally cleaned it from head to toe new bed like new bed frame new mattress Everything in there is new. What we left behind was cleaned extremely well. Mm -hmm. So we've spent a few nights in there and so far I'm good. So we seem to think that we have the fiberglass situation all remedied. We're, we're, uh, we're, we're, we're so. confident or we're, we're optimistic. Let's put right. it that way. Yeah. That uh, we have that all count. Hey, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take you outside. Uh, we didn't video us working because we were just well i have a couple snips of you yeah, well, making because the mattress the not the mattress but the bed frame is made out of maker wood. pipe no the old one was made out of wood right but and it was impregnated <coughs> with right with fiberglass right so the new one is made out of maker pipe and like um a pvc lattice, lattice. Mm -hmm. so in lighter weight mm -hmm. and so anyway so let's go look we basically look a little bit the same. This is new. We have uh, more storage here, so we have less up here. Ed has uh, put this up here, and it has our. We have a um, plug strip in the back, so we will. We charge all. We're going to charge all of our phones, my watch, things like that up here. When we're traveling, it just scoots in, so it's really nice. Everything is the same. Uh, it's just clean. We've uh, so since we've put this in, we hung some pictures back here instead. And um, oh, our monitor now is sitting there so that Ed can see it while laying in bed. He doesn't have to turn. And look what I found, you guys. This is my. It's it's a back scratcher, but I use it to grab the stuff underneath the bed and pull it out. Isn't it cute? I found that at a five and dime. I love five and dimes. So, and then Ed painted our shelf and then um, that's ba basically about it. All right, so the second thing that happened is uh, as we decided to tur turn around, come home, we lost an engine in the van. Now it didn't like blow up in some big nope. dramatic experience. Where no, it was a bunch of at all. <laughs> we thought it was a distributor cap. <laughs> it started missing. Because and, we were uh, in a lot of rain. We were running in on five cylinders, and I thought, oh, this is just an electrical issue. So pulled over into O'Reilly parking lot, and I worked on it a good two hours or whatever in the parking lot of O'Reilly, and still couldn't get it done. Um, fortunately, there was a little mechanic shop down the street. We pulled in there. They were so backed up. We pulled in the parking lot, and I said, there's no way they're going to get us in. There was cars. There was cars parked on the street. There was so many. But they were very kind. They to were us. very nice. They were very mm -hmm. nice. Uh, the in fact, they loaned me a compression uh, gauge. I took the the spark plug out of cylinder number five, and did a compression check. No compression at all in, in cylinder number five. So I knew then that we had Big catastrophic trouble. engine failure. Although it it didn't make any 
loud noises or anything. So, mm -hmm. um, hey, we rolled that thing up on a flatbed on a, in a U-Haul truck and we drove it home. Thanks to Dave and Cindy. Yeah, uh, we spent the, night, we spent with the night with them and they kept our camper and we later went down and got it. Uh, so anyway, thanks Dave and Cindy for uh, rescuing. Hospitality, rescuing, rescuing us, <laughs> keeping little dude safe, mm -hmm. meeting Ed halfway to give little dude back. So we couldn't have done it without Dave and Cindy, that's, no, that's for no. sure. So anyway, right here, let me show you what's been going on with Jack since we had this thing and we brought it back home. Hey, good morning, crew. All right, so um, headed over to the shop to check in on the Astro van. So I was there yesterday morning, and uh, they began work on it, and they were they were dropping the engine while I was there. Uh, got a call. Sorry, I went over railroad track. Uh, got a call that um, the engine came in yesterday. So going to run over this morning and uh, take a look at this. So what I'm doing is, um, you know, I've got a shop doing the work for me, but uh, they seem to be pretty good guys. There's a bunch of muscle cars and they're working on. So looks like they know what they're doing as far as um, old school cars go. I've um, actually checked those guys out with a lot of friends. And so uh, I think things are gonna be all right. So I'm going over here to check and make sure that there's not anything else I need to do while I have it apart. For instance, um, they, for instance, they uh, took the engine out and I noticed it's like, man, I need to put motor mounts and some other stuff in there too. So I've been running, getting some parts. I got a new catalytic converter, uh, just things like that. So I'm running over there this morning, take a look at it. And um, hey, I'll update you uh, once I get there and we'll figure out how the progress is going. Hopefully in about three days, I'll be back on the road again. That's the plan. Gonna break the engine in and uh, run it at low RPMs for a little while. So it'll be a couple weeks before we're back on the road, but uh, let's see how the progress goes this morning. We go as you can see we are got this thing tore apart pretty good here um, I shouldn't say we these guys are working hard at it uh, I've got my list together here I'm gonna run over to the parts store and get some parts but things are going as planned uh, no surprises so uh, pretty happy with what's going on good morning again hanging with herky crew okay so I'm uh, on the second day here it's uh, first thing in the morning just got up actually I am headed back to the shop. I was there yesterday. Um, things seem to be going pretty good. I really didn't see anything that uh, needed attention. I um, picked up a, next, a few parts and took it back over to them. Just some things like a anti-knock sensor and some things like that that I wanted to just go ahead and replace while I was there. Um, I don't know what I'm expecting this morning. Um, I I would say that you know we're we should be well over half done with this job by now. Uh, so um, I really was resisting the temptation and just spent a lot of time there yesterday. Uh, I know that it's annoying for people that are working on things to have somebody looking over the top of them. So I limited my time there to about 15, 20 minutes. Um, but I really wanted to sit there and dig in and um, see what's going on so while we had it out of the van I was there I checked the brake lines to make sure that they were good uh, just you know anything that's around the engine so I, I think we're all right um, I I wouldn't doubt if they actually start this engine today and um, hopefully uh, after one more day here we can uh, we can pick it up so anyway it's an early morning it's been raining all night so um, but the temperature warmed up quite a bit, so uh, antsy and getting ready to go. Let's uh, go in here to the shop. I'll be there in about five minutes. Let's go into the shop and see see what they got done. I I don't know what I'm gonna find, but uh, we'll see.
Okay, so inside there, I wasn't able to um, talk because uh, they're playing the radio pretty loud. And when you do that, uh, you get a copyright strike on the music. So I had to come outside. Hey, they made a lot of progress yesterday. So it's, it's looking really good. The, um, they're saying that they may be able to start this thing today. Uh, when I was in there, he was putting the air conditioner back together. So it looks pretty good. We put a new Y pipe in there, a new exhaust, new catalytic converter, and all that stuff bolted right up with no problem. I got the catalytic converter from uh, Rock Auto, so I was worried they're gonna have to heat the pipes and and tweak them a little bit. But now it, it went it went just fine. So anyway, it's uh, it's coming together. Hopefully, I can run back over here today and listen to it run. We'll see. But I'm gonna check out for right now get back with you when we got more to report well, look here we're sitting in the van we're back in jack back in jack sitting in the driveway it uh, we were able to go pick it up yesterday and we put 50 miles on it yesterday evening just doing some uh, driving around we drove around and found just a very slight oil leak I ran it back to the uh, shop and it was something very simple. They just tightened something up. 20 minutes. We're 20 minutes. We were back out the door again. So anyway, it's Saturday morning and so today, and if you look like I don't have the bulkhead behind me, it's not put in, it's not all put back together totally yet, but today we are going to take it on even a longer trip because Ed would like to change the oil either tomorrow or Monday in it. So we are headed to my favorite spot, in case you don't know what that is. Brown County. Brown County, <laughs> and I'm so excited. Herky's up here on his perch. It's not the original one, we just improvised, impro improvised and put a box with a pillow on it, so he's happy. I don't wanna put the van totally back together until I know for sure that um, right. we're done. So, all right, we're gonna hit the road. We'll we're show you excited. a couple things today, but uh, big day today. Yes. Well, we just did a little spin down to my favorite town, Nashville. Ed let me walk around and get some goodies. And no oil leak, yay. And what are we getting, like 16, 17 miles to yep, the gallon? Yep, we've got a little improvement on gas mileage. And uh, I would say from you know, 11, yeah a so miles to a gallon to 16. <laughs> so at this point we're doing pretty good we're really happy yeah. uh, with the improved gas mileage we've put 175 miles on the new engine and so far everything's going great so we've got all our goals accomplished yeah. now we can kind of relax a little bit and just ramble home so we're going to take the back roads my favorite <laughs> all right let's get back on the road we stopped here at the scenic overlook uh there's no leaves on the trees but no. uh and the dogwoods are late this year yeah. usually in march you have dogwoods and here it is april 2nd and nothing so hey take a look at the van it's doing great Okay then, now you have it. So now we should be set to go. We are gonna go to Costa Rica here in a week. So you'll be seeing our travels there. And then after that, we have a rally and then it's off to the Arctic Circle. Basically what happened, what we cut out of our trip was, is we were gonna do a little tour of the Southwest for a few weeks before we went to Alaska, just waiting for it to warm up up there. And we had to cut that off. And, but uh, we're going to do it in October on our way back out, out of Alaska. We'll swing back. That is the plan for right now. Yeah. So, hey, it almost looked like we were doomed from, <laughs> from the very start when we started out. Because we did the introduction video to our, to our big trip from Key last West week. to the Arctic Circle last week. And this week we're back home. <laughs> so, but stay hey, with us, hang with us. We're in us. good spirits. Nancy's feeling well. She's yeah. not. Uh, she's not got any more problems. I have a follow up this coming Friday, so we'll see. Yep, and looks like we've got our van problem solved. So, anyway, thanks for watching. We'll catch you again on next Sunday. Bye now.